Welcome to Sunday Night's Training. It's the 21st of January 2018. I have been super, super pumped for today. I've been honestly buzzing. It was about this afternoon and I was just like, oh my God, I need to do this training now. Like, why isn't it nine o'clock now? Crazy, crazy. So, okay, so we're just going to start off with a bit of housekeeping first. And um, I cannot stress to you, if you do not have your Leadership Academy tickets, you need to get hold of these tickets, okay? Leadership Academy is on Sunday, the 4th of February, 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. And tickets now, because you've missed the early bird, are 20 pounds. But 20 pounds is an absolute bargain because we've got the amazing keynote speaker, NVP Danielle Daniela Coppolaro, who is absolutely sensational. And of course, we have our own beautiful NVP speaker, um, Fiona McCarthy. So I would pay £20 for that. Um, okay, so a bit of recognition. So we have some new independent consultants joining the beautiful teams that we have. So we've got new IC in the Bromley district. Um, sponsored by uh, Holly Bellis and welcome Caroline Simmons. Um, we have new IC in the Sutton Houghton region, sponsored by Carol Sutton Houghton. Welcome Lucy Haylock. Amazing. And we have a Roger Bannister. Whoop, whoop. We've got executive area manager Megan Bryson, sponsored by RVP Laura Leggett. And a woman after my own heart. We have a pregnancy announcement. We've got district manager Tina Heslop is expecting baby number five. Woo! You're insecure. Don't know what for. So that is a that is it. I think we've got a very short uh, bit of housekeeping. I think I think I've covered everything. If you if we haven't, then please please just pop it um, down below so that everybody else can see all the recognition. If you've not managed to get it in on time, okay. So this evening I am going to be training on um, journey of expectations. Okay, so we all have expectations. When we start our business, we have expectations. I had expectations. And um, anybody that knows me, when I get asked to do training, which is a complete and utter honor, um, but when I get asked to do training, I have to speak from a place of experience, from the heart. I can't do something that's pre-done or, you know, so when I, when Danny asked, well, when it obviously came up and it was my turn, I was thinking, oh my gosh, what on earth am I going to talk about? And I was racking my brain and I, I seem to feel like I've only spoke about things that um, I've had to deal with. So just like, I was a bit like, oh, no one's going to want to hear all this again. But then when I actually thought about it, I couldn't stand or sit here and give you something that wasn't from the heart. And this is my experiences. Yes, I'm not at the top of the company, but I'm on my way. And these are the things that are cropping up in real life. And you need to learn from this. It may not crop up in your journey, but at the end of the day, it could. And if I can share something to um, inspire or to help you along your journey, deal with it 
probably better than I am, then, you know, I will, I will be over the moon. Okay, so a little bit about me. So um, I am uh, area manager with Arbon International. And um, I started my business with two years ago in April. And um, I literally jumped to feet in. I really, really did. And I was flying. I earned the Arizona trip, um, which that was incredible. I went to GTC, which was sensational. I just absolutely loved it. It was on a massive high. And <clears throat> before I went to Arizona, I actually found out I was pregnant wasn't trying it was an absolute spanner in my work let me tell you i was over the moon oh sorry teddy yeah i'm talking about you i was over the moon but it really did throw me and i was a bit like right okay so what who cares i am gonna still achieve everything that i want to achieve i'm still gonna do this da, da, da. and that was an expectation that i had of myself so Everyone has expectations and that's okay, providing that you deal with it alongside life. Now I'll explain a bit more about this. Okay, so finding out when I was pregnant, I had expectations of, of my own, like I just said, and I had a huge belief of what other people's expectations were of me as well. Again, I'll explain. So Teddy, I just assumed would slot into Arbonne, you know, I, I just thought that I would have to have another baby, have my fourth baby, and everything would just still remain the same. Now, not unrealistically, now don't, I know you may laugh and kind of think, how would you think that? Why would you think that? But coming from my other children that I've had, my other, chil my other three children were, let me tell you, a dream. I've had it lucky. They really were a dream. They slept straight away from birth. They had no colic, had no wind. They were not cry babies. I could just put them down. They were amazing, literally amazing. And I thought that Teddy would be the same. So I was, of course, aiming for regional vice president by the time that Teddy was born. Um, I thought I'd be able to juggle everything. I love to cook. That's my other passion. So I just thought I could still whip out all these meals, you know, as you do. And the beliefs of the other people, like other people's expectations of what I thought they had of me, I thought that's fine, I'll still be able to, you know, achieve that and still people will be thinking that, you know, there she is doing a live makeup videos, you know, they're on time every single morning, five o'clock, she never fails. I kind of just thought that would still happen because why would it not? I thought I'd still be able to travel up and down the country as I was, you know, meeting people. Um, cause I, I love to deal with people one-on-one. -on -one. And so I just assumed that, you know, yes, it's an online business, but I'd still be able to take Teddy with me in the car and nothing would, you know, differ from that. And all my other commitments with children and their activities, I could still do with Gary working away. So what went wrong? let me tell you. My expectations were far too high, okay? And another definition that I found really, really interesting was that expectation comes um, from the meaning, it's a Latin word, expectationum, meaning an awakening. If you have great expectations, um, you will expect something amazing to come your way, but if you change your expectations according to life, you won't risk being disappointed. And this is something that really took me, it really just hit home because I was like, that is what I've done. My expectations have been incredibly high and I've been disappointed because it's not happened and it's led to other things. So I should have thought, if I manage to juggle everything, then great. If I manage to keep traveling up and down the country, then great. If I manage to keep cooking nutritious home-cooked meals at home, then great. That way, less, less pressure would have been applied to myself. And um, for me, in my case, less anxiety too. Now, I may not look like the type of person that has anxiety or has struggled with anxiety or has struggled with losing her confidence. But I can tell you these 
four months that I've had since having Teddy have been the hardest since since I was younger and I was dealing with a lot of crap basically and it's been really really it's been a struggle so the knock-on effect is basically that the pressure led to anxiety anxiety led to feeling like a failure which then led to feeling like my confidence was rapidly rapidly diminishing so anyone knows me that I am confident I am quite a bubbly person um, so again I had anxiety that people's expectations of me was not being an anxious unconfident mess so that again was a massive, massive expectation in my head that I had that other people would have of me that was far too high, far too high. And another quote that again, I absolutely love, and this one's by William Shakespeare, expectation is the root of all heartache. And again, this is something that I was just like, yes, it really, really is. You can't have these expectations of yourself and think that other people have these expectations of you and not have it lead to heartache. It's just no good. So how do we deal with it? Expectation feeds frustration. It's an unhealthy attachment to people, things, outcomes that we wish we could control, but we actually don't. So I want you to think just really, really hard for one moment. Do you have expectations of your friends? Do you have expectations of your family? Maybe your partner, maybe your husband, maybe even your children. If so, then just think for one moment the anxiety that you could be causing them. I want you to trade your anxiety. Sorry, guys. One sec. I want you to trade your anxiety. Uh, sorry, your expectation for appreciation, and your whole world will change instantly, as monkey see, monkey do. So your friends, your partner, your family, your children will do the same they will not have these expectations of you that leads to anxiety and so on and so forth the secret is the secret that i found to being happy is to let every situation just be what it is don't look for reasons of what you think it should be because at the end of the day it is what it is and you cannot do anything about that Um, I have it now. Okay. So, really think about your own expectations. Can you change them in your head to be hopes instead? Maybe. Now, hope is a feeling and a desire for a particular thing to happen. Also, that I found this really, really interesting. It's a feeling of trust. How great is that, by the way? A feeling of trust is what hope is the definition of. And that is the key because a feeling of trust is what is happening at that moment of time is meant to happen. It's been written for you. It's been there because it's actually meant to happen. It's there to teach you a lesson maybe you know, I'm a massive, massive believer that things that happen, things that crop up, whether that whether you think they're going to happen or not. And if it's something that you're not comfortable with in terms of how you expect it's going to happen, just take a seat back and just kind of think, you know, what what's this trying to teach me? Something's, something's trying to tell me something here. And it's a lesson to show you maybe a new path or guide you in a different direction. Maybe the people that you're hanging around with and, you know, they're not good for you. And just, just take that on board and find appreciation out of the fact that your expectation has not come to fruition. And that's just one of the learnings that I've taken from all of this in the last four months is it's not happened that way. And maybe it's not happening that way because Teddy's my last baby. I need to enjoy him. 
you know, the other, the other children, I went straight back into work. I was straight, you know, they were, they got, I got them to like through the maternity, um, maternity stage where I was off with them and I was back to work. I missed so much of their life. You know, maybe this is somebody pulling on my reins as if to say, you know, you need to slow down a little bit because this is your last baby and you need to enjoy every single moment because it's your last, you're never going to get this time back. Um, and that's what I kind of just took from that. And that way, um, you will avoid anxiety, you will, you will avoid stress, and it will make you massively appreciate where you are in your life and what you can actually achieve. Remember, life's not to be lived to be stressed out and, you know, bogged down with all this stuff. This is just something that I think that will help you just accept in life. And your journey will impact so many people, even though you think it won't. I mean, when I, when Danny mentioned, oh yeah, it's your week to train. I actually was like, oh, what have I got to give anyone? Like, and not meaning that in a place of, I want you to all say, oh, you're lovely. I don't. I'm meaning that in a position where I, I actually was feeling so low that I thought no one's going to hear, want to hear my crap. No, no one is going to want to hear it. And at the end of the day, people do want to hear it because they're probably going through the same thing. Yes, okay, maybe not at that point, but somewhere down the line, they will be going through something similar. And if you can inspire somebody, then isn't that what life's about? Inspiring someone, encouraging someone you know, making an impact in somebody's day, brightening somebody's day. And that is what, this is what our family, our Arbon family is all about. Someone is always watching you and someone is always looking up to you as well. Whether that's your children, whether it's a friend, whether it's just somebody that is watching you on social media. So always show up and always be who you are. Okay, I was really, really afraid to come on here and talk about, you know, what I've gone through the last four months because it's a subject where it wasn't an expectation for me. I didn't expect this to be in my journey along my Arbonne path, you know, and it is. And I just need to talk about it how it is, talk about it how I've got over it, and that way I can help somebody else. So that is really the top and bottom of my training. It's quite short, but I think it's quite impactful in, in terms of giving you um, some, some ways to deal with it. Um, but for those book people that love a book, because I know these people that love a book on here, um, a great book about this is um, The Expectation Hangover by Christine Hasler. You've probably read it, Daniela Wells. <laughs> no she's not read it brilliant okay so I've helped you pick a book um, and this is about overcoming disappointment not only in work but in love and life and friendships um, it's an amazing book I have actually read this one but it, I've read it quite a while ago I need to refresh myself but I remember this book being quite poignant in my life at a certain time um, so I think it's time to pick up that book again um, but I hope that this has inspired someone and helped somebody along their way. Um, but yeah, just don't have these expectations of yourself and they, they'll be too high. You are human and your journey, um, you know, is, is meant to be what it is. Don't look for reasons why, don't ask yourself why, just embrace the journey that you're on, whatever happens. The book, I heard, I saw somebody just pop on there. The book was The Expectation Hangover, and that is by Christine Hasler. H-A-S-S-L-E-R, maybe I'm saying it wrong. What it takes to get 